What I tell people is the best advice that I, I've ever heard, the best advice I ever came up with, is that live your life like you're the hero in your movie. And right now is when the fucking movie starts and your life is a shitbag disaster, like every fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger movie where he wakes up and makes a blender full of pizza and ice cream and that's what he, you know what I mean? Yeah. Those guys where they're like on the brink, they put the gun in their mouth and they put it down because they see a photo of their daughter. Pretend that's you. <laughs> Pretend you are, uh, right now, you are in the part of the movie that starts and it shows you as a fucking loser. And just decide not to be a loser anymore. Live your life like there's a documentary crew following you around and you are analyzing your own behavior. Do what you would want to do so that your kids one day would look back at it and, and, and see that documentary and look on it with pride. Like, wow, my dad was a bad motherfucker. He really did what he had to do. Wow, my mom really got her shit together. I love a success story, but even more than a success story, I like a dude who fucks his life up and then gets it back together again story. Those are my favorite stories. And the way to do that, you gotta write shit down. You gotta think that you are the hero in your own fucking movie, and then you gotta sit down and you gotta write shit down. Write down what you need to do. Most people play the role of the victim in the movie, right? Sure. Yeah, this life is fucking me over, man. I could have had this and I should have had that. And why does this guy get that? And why does that guy get this? And all things that are completely unrelated to you. Yeah. All things that you, you find other people's success is a, a, a downfall in your own existence. Instead of being inspired, instead of choosing to be positive, instead of like improving constantly on, on the direction of trying to achieve whatever the fuck you have written down, you just sit around and spiral, you know? There's nothing more miserable than sitting around someone who's fucking complaining all the time. It is one of the most annoying things ever. Everybody hates it. When someone just sits around and they complain about their life and they don't do jack shit about it. And you tiptoe around it, you don't know what to say. Well, she gets upset when you bring that up. I don't want to bring that up. And you want to go, you fucking crazy bitch, you know what's wrong with your life. Stop yeah. announcing it to everybody else and go out and fix that shit. That's the real message. The real message is we all started from no. I mean, we all had bullshit jobs. We all <laughs> felt like losers. But through time and effort, you build a stronger human. You build a stronger body. You build a stronger mind. You build accomplishments and will and momentum. And then you look back and you go, hey, man, I'm not washing tables anymore. You know, I'm not, uh, I'm not washing dishes. I'm not cutting lawns i'm not digging ditches yeah you know, I'm, I'm a different person now but i used to be and these desire not to be that but not to yeah. stay in there that's that's what uh, that's the hardest part right yeah. is to get out of that rut oh. when you ain't got shit and there's nothing going on to have faith then is so difficult to have faith when you're successful it's like yeah yeah listen bitch you've been successful for a while of course <laughs> you got faith <laughs> yeah just keep doing what you're that's doing easy. it's all yeah it's like, absolutely right it's that's like you already got up the hill now you're just coasting yeah you know you're just rolling down the hill everything's great that's the easy it's all part. smooth sailing yep the hard part is getting up that fucking hill when you, especially if you got a dad you're hiding from especially if you feel like you're a loser or you never really had anything in your life that you could look back on and say hey i was really good at that you know and there's yeah. a lot of people out there listening to this there's so many people that are in that that starting point like the people that come up to you and say what do i i don't know what to do what should i do how do i do it yeah how do i get going but you're gonna have to figure it out one foot in front of the other exactly. you're gonna have to you have to find a thing and keep working at it and get better at it you have to be able to have that honest assessment of yourself and the only way you can do that is you're taking account of yourself all day long you're taking account you're writing down what the fuck you need to do you're doing it you have a, a mindset that you want to maintain throughout the day don't let the world maintain your mindset you choose what mindset that you're going to maintain and i fucking do that for sure that's it i'll tell you, you words of wisdom by joe Rogan.